we are asked to write each of the following quotients using a single base. Do not simplify further. To determine each quotient, we will be using the quotient rule of exponents, which is x raised to the power of a divided by x raised to the power of b equals x raised to the power of a minus b. This rule is telling us to divide exponential terms with the same base, we subtract the exponents. However, it is important to recognize that when we find this difference, it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. We will see why this rule makes sense after we take a look at number one. Number one, we have t to the seventh divided by t to the third because we are dividing and the bases are the same. So to determine the quotient, we subtract the exponents. So t to the seventh divided by t to the third is equal to t raised to the power of seven minus three. Seven minus three is equal to four. This quotient simplifies to t to the fourth. To understand why this rule makes sense, let's look at this quotient again and expand t to the seventh and expand t to the third. So beginning with t to the seventh divided by t to the third, we know t to the seventh is equal to seven factors of t. t to the third is equal to three factors of t. We're assuming t doesn't equal zero, and we know any value divided by itself is equal to one. So t divided by t simplifies to one here, here, and here, leaving us with four factors of t, which equals t to the fourth. And this should make sense because notice how we have four more factors of t in the numerator than we have in the denominator, and therefore this does simplify to t to the fourth. Of course, it's much faster to just subtract the exponents, which we will do for the next two examples. So for number two, we have the base of negative two raised to the 15th power divided by the base of negative two raised to the 12th power. Because we're dividing and the bases are the same, to determine the quotient, we subtract the exponents. This is equal to the base of negative two raised to the power of 15 minus 12. 15 minus 12 is equal to three. This simplifies to the base of negative two raised to the third power. Now we know this does equal three factors of negative two, or negative two times negative two times negative two, which equals negative eight, but we are going to leave this quotient in this form because it does say, write the quotients using a single base, do not simplify further. And now let's take a look at number three. We have the base of two square root x raised to the seventh power divided by two square root x. So it's clear in the numerator, the base is two square root x. In the denominator though, we do have one factor of two square root x, which means two square root x is the same as two square root x raised to the first power. In this form, because we're dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. This quotient is equal to the base of two square root x raised to the power of seven minus one. Seven minus one is equal to six. This is equal to the base of two square root x raised to the power of six. And again, we will leave it in this form because it does say, write the quotient using a single base, do not simplify further. I hope you found this helpful.